there's been a murder afoot, but who could have done it? If there's a prize for my mystery, this one has won it. The victim's a cat, but much more than that. He's a cat that has often been seen in a hat. A detective was called, and a mistress was found, while the corpse of the cat was left there on the ground. It's funny, irreverent, and won't take much time, and the best of it is, every line is in rhyme. The party was swinging, the walls were shaking, the floor shook, they were almost breaking. Then a cry rang out that silenced them all. <coughs> a scream of horror, it came from the hall. There on the mat lay the corpse of the cat. It lay there quite flat in bloody red splat. And next to the cat there was a red and white hat. Folks gathered round and they stared in despair. They glared at it there with its blood matted hair. How did it dare to be there by the chair? Was there no one there that, that could be made to care? Someone snatched up a phone, and they dialed 911. Though the villain that did this foul deed must be gone, in a flurry of sirens and lights red and blue, the policemen arrived in cars one and two. In cars one and two, with lights blue and red, the policemen arrived to see who was dead. I'm the detective and genius and bold. I'll soon find the victim before the trail's cold. Excuse me, detective, but the answer is clear. We all know the victim. The victim is here. I believe it's the killer you were meant to find. Yes, thank you. Most helpful. I'll keep that in mind. Was there a witness? Did anyone see the events that led to this tragedy? Did anyone hear a loud bang or a report, an explosion, a gunshot, or a sound of that sort? If we knew what time this foul deed occurred, we might match it to some odd sounds that somebody heard. No one remembers who last saw the cat, and was it in this room, or was it in that? I saw him at seven and gave him a drink, or it might have been later than that now, I think. Who are you, miss, if I may make so bold? And how knew you this corpse, which is now going cold? I was his mistress, his bit on the side, though he promised that one day he'd make me his bride. We used to meet here secretly once a week, and I'd kiss him quite softly with his hair on his cheek. He never was cruel or wicked or mean. I loved him with all my heart and my spleen. The detective pounced as quick as lightning. His eyes with suspicion suddenly brightening. A mistress, a female, and perhaps one quite fatal? Our victim here met you, and now he's quite late told. Would you, could you, take a knife? Would you, could you, wait, yeah, would you, could you take a life? Would you, could you, with a knife? Would you, did you take a gun and fire it till the deed was done? Our guy here is not stabbed to death. It was a gun that stole his breath. You see these holes in his chest and hat? It took five bullets to do that. He was shot on the spot, on the spot he was shot. He was shot quite a lot and then left here to rot. So now, dear detective, what are we to do? I somehow assumed you would look for a clue. The thing that I've noticed about murder clues is they often come in ones and twos. Ones and twos and occasionally threes. With three, we'll solve any murder with these. But how do you know what to do with a clue? Or find all the clues do that are waiting for you? Do you magnify it all with a glass? Well, you won't find a clue if you sit on your backside. So you party people, please listen to me. This is the way things are going to be. I'll ask you all questions and find out the truth. If I have to be ruthless, I'll cast away Ruth. Not one will escape me, I'll tell you this now. I'll track down the who, the why, and the how. So the people lined up, and they did what he said. They told him about how the cat became dead. But it soon was plain there for any to view. The more they told him, the less they knew. My darling lies murdered, oh how can this be? I ask you for answers, you pin it on me. Let me put my arms around him and hold him once more. But wait, what is this? There's a clue on the floor. They looked and they saw it down there on the floor. When the cat's corpse was moved, a clue there for sure. It was two lengths of tubing attached to the third, with a funny end piece, and a whisper was heard. A stethoscope, goodness, that's a surprise. How did it get there? What can we surmise? It must have been.
have been dropped by the killer for sure. How did it come to be there? How else could it come to be there on the floor? It was found under, found under our cat here, don't forget. Perhaps we will catch our killer here yet. So pick it up quickly and duck it for Prince. A real detective will solve this long since. But no Prince could be found, though they searched round and round. They used lots of dust, made <coughs> all town. Sadly, no trace of the killer remained on the old broken stethoscope, dented and stained. But they raised it up high to the light one more time, and just visible there under the grime, a letter, quite small, but carved there nonetheless. And the letter they saw was a small letter S. S, said the detective. What can this S mean? And why is this stethoscope so very unclean? A doctor of medicine ought to know better. And why is he initiated it with just one letter? Perhaps he's no medical man anymore. You don't clean the things you've got no use for. Perhaps he took up quite another profession? You mean killing cats might be his new obsession? How about this, detective? I see how you look. Does this stethoscope mean I'm not off the hook? <laughs> the detective agreed, though his face was quite bleak. For without an arrest, he was right up the creek. It wasn't the mistress. I have to confess, our cat here is murdered by the one Dr. S. And so our scene closes, as scenes often will. And we wonder what drove the good doctor to kill. The truth is no matter how mighty your brain, spending all your days rhyming will drive you insane.